we'll guide you through how to clip gameplay and general things on your computer. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So for this guide, we're going to be using something called Nvidia Shadowplay. For this to work, you will need to have an Nvidia graphics card. That's super key. If you don't have a graphics card, this guide won't work for you. To check, go to the bottom of your computer and click on search and type in task manager just like this and then head over to the left and go and click on performance and you can then scroll down and you can see GPU and you can see what you've got. I've got an Nvidia so we can go and do this. And then what you'll need is the Nvidia GeForce Experience downloaded on your computer. So you can just go and open up your browser and go and search for it and download it and install it. You probably already have it though if you've got an Nvidia graphics card. Go to the bottom of your computer and click on search and type in GeForce Experience just like so and click on it and it then should open up and go to the top right and click on settings and then scroll down and you want to go and make sure in-game overlay is toggled on like here, then go and click on settings. Alternatively, you can press on Alt and Z and this will go and open up as well and go and close. Now, what you want to do is come to instant replay and go and click on it. Just make sure for now that it's turned off and then go and click on settings. At the top here, you can choose the instant replay length. So this is basically the amount of time you'll be able to go and replay. So five minutes should capture most things. You can go and choose low, medium or high quality. I'll just go medium. And then you can come and choose the resolution. I like to have in game. Frame rate, I do like to have 60 FPS as that is much smoother. And the bit rate will be automatically changed by the quality you choose, but you can also go and have a custom one as well. And now what you can do is go and click on save in the top right like this and head over to the right and go and click on the settings button, just like this. And then what you want to do is choose where the instant replay is saved because maybe you want to put it onto a hard drive or something like that. So you can then go and choose where you want it to be. So I just set my videos folder. To change it, you just click on the three dots on the right hand side. Then you can go and click on back like this. And now what you need to do is scroll to the bottom to privacy control and you will need to go and enable desktop to capture. That's super important. And now what we want to do is go and set the keyboard shortcut so we can quickly go and save our video. So click here and then you want to come down to record. And then as you can see, you firstly can go and toggle instant replay on and off, which is super important. Then we have the, the, the shortcut for going and saving the last bit recorded. And so this number will vary depending upon what you've got set. So what you can do is just press Alt Z and it'll then go and open it up. So now let me go and click on instant replay and I'll go and firstly go and turn it on. And we can also go and use this shortcut here. I'll just go and turn it on like so. As you can see, it's on. It says on in the top right. And now I can go and start gaming. And then let's say I want to go and capture the last five minutes. Then all I need to do is go and press on the shortcut, which is for me, Alt F10. Or I can press on Alt Z, come to Instant Replay and click on it. And then go and click on Save. And just like that, it'll then go and save the last five minutes or whatever time you've got set. Here we are in my videos folder and it's actually in this folder called desktop. So I can go and click on it and there it is. I can go and look at it again and see the replay. 